Okay, uh, we're going to go now to the material biconditional. Uh, in English, the connective if and only if is used to express more than either the connective if or the connective only if. If and only if is, is a stronger claim. For example, John will get an A in the course if and only if he does well in the final examination. Can be paraphrased as, here we go, now this is, hold on to your seat. So we're going to paraphrase that. Let's get the sentence one more time. John will get an A in the course if and only if he does well on the final examination. That's a normal sentence. So here's our paraphrase. Both. If John will get an A on the course, then John does well on the final examination. And if John does well on the final examination, then John will get an A on the course. So it's, it's, you know, it goes back and forth, a relationship that goes two ways. And we can symbolize and paraphrase this as uh, like, like so. So it's simply saying that they're true in both ways. And when you have this situation where it's this strong of a situation, we allow the abbreviation called a biconditional, where if and only if John will do uh, get an A in the course only if he does well on the final exam. So that's the material biconditional. And shall we make a truth table for the material biconditional? I think we probably should. Remember our truth tables? How do we make our truth tables? We have P and Q, and we're going to do the biconditional. We have all of our possibilities, starting with both true and both false. And then this one true and this one false, and then reverse that. This one false, and this one true. Now, P, if and only if Q. What if P occurs then? We have to have Q. And on the first line, we do. So it would be true here. Now, in the second line, P has occurred and Q has failed, so it would be false. And on the third line, P has failed and Q has occurred. But wait a minute. P, if Q. And we've got Q, so we better have P. Uh-oh, we don't. Therefore, that doesn't obtain. That's false. Now, they're both false. P, if and only if Q. We haven't said either of them obtain. We've said if they do obtain. And here we have a situation where they don't obtain. So we can say we obtain truth functionalness in our sentence because we haven't contradicted anything. So there is the truth table for the material by conditional. Okay, we're going to do some practicing now. Um, and I don't think we'll do all the practices available because uh, we're not really doing this for college. You can watch these videos twice or thrice if you're interested. So here's our universe of discourse consists of A, B, C. Albert jogs regularly, Bob jogs regularly, and Carol jogs regularly. Did you know, by the way, and I'll just make this silly little note for the fun of it, because it occurs to me, that the melody A, B, C, D, E, F, G is a tune by Mozart. Now that's fine, but Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is the same tune as A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Mozart. How do you like that? Anyways, within our universe of discourse, um, let's symbolize the following challenges it gives us. It says, first of all, Bob and Carol jog regularly. Now we'd simply say, Bob jogs regularly and Carol jogs regularly. There we go, that's easy. How about, Bob does not jog regularly, but Carol does. How would we say that? Uh, it is not the case Bob jogs regularly. But it is the case that Carol jogs regularly. So those are easy ones. And how about this one? Try this one before I can get it onto the board. Either Bob jogs regularly or Carol jogs regularly. Either Bob or Carol jogs regularly. How do you do that one? 
Well, it's either Bob or Carol jogs regularly. Easy, simple. Albert jogs regularly, and so does Carol. That's easy. Albert jogs regularly, and Carol jogs regularly. Either Bob jogs regularly, or Albert jogs regularly, but they don't both jog regularly. Hurry. Either Albert or Bob, but not both of them jog regularly. How would you do that? Either Albert jogs regularly or Bob jogs regularly. But it is not the case that they both jog regularly. It is not the case that Albert and Bob jog regularly, although one of them does. Now this is like if you live downstairs from Albert and Bob and every morning one of these clowns gets up and goes jogging at 6 a.m. and you don't know which one it is but you know one of them does and you also know that not both of them do you only hear one person do go down the stairs and back up so you don't hear both of them so someone goes jogging but not both of them 